Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be building a diorama style terrarium. So I start out by testing out the hardscape, which I'm using a lava rock and a piece of driftwood, just trying to see what works well and what doesn't. And um, when I got something that I think I'm happy with, I go ahead and mix up my substrate. It is aqua soil and sphagnum moss mixed together. Um, I'm adding floral foam to the bottom in the background. It absorbs water really well, like a sponge, so it just um, holds water for longer so I don't have to water the terrarium as often. Now I'm adding clay pebbles to the bottom. This lets there be a kind of layer of water that sits at the bottom without making things moldy. Um, and then I'm positioning my stone and my wood. And when I'm doing this, my goal is to create a very drastic height difference between the foreground and the background, and this adds more depth. And you can see I've made these pockets where I can now add soil and substrate um, in the foreground, middle ground, and background. And from the front, this will make more of an illusion of depth, even though the container is very, very small, because I can go from something um, very low to something very high in such a short space. So it just makes it look bigger. Um, and it fills up the tank more. You don't want to have empty space necessarily in this tank. And using large uh, hardscape also kind of helps with that scale when you're working in a small tank. So that's why I've got such a large piece of lava rock and such a large piece of driftwood in this tiny tank. All right, so I fill up the background, middle ground, now the foreground, uh, just with aqua soil and sphagnum moss. Aqua soil is inert, so it doesn't mold, and the sphagnum moss retains moisture really, really well. So this is a great mix if you want to keep your terrarium very moist and not worry too much. All right, now I'm adding the plants. Um, this guy is a red polka dot plant, adding it to the foreground. They do pretty well in high humidity, which this terrarium is going to be. Next up is a fern. Um, they also do well in high humidity. I'm kind of wedging it into the crack there. The roots don't always have to be in soil, so it's a good spot for it. And now I'm adding oak leaf creeping fig on top, and hopefully that's going to creep down over time and kind of stick to the hardscape. All right, now, last but not least, I'm adding some moss. Um, I think the moss really ties everything together, uh, just using it to cover up all the patches of soil, fill in all the cracks, uh, and just make this more of a cohesive, green, earthy environment. Um, this is all moss that I gather from outside. And these mosses can be mosses that are better for humid environments or dry environments. I tend to use for more humid environments uh, because I keep my terrariums very wet. And there it is. Now let's take a break to hang out with my frog, Grog. Uh, build video of his terrarium coming soon. He's a poison dart frog. All right, next I'm adding springtails. What these little guys do is they eat mold and dead and decaying plant matter, and they just keep the whole thing nice and clean. So here's how it's looking uh, after everything's been put together. Um, looks pretty good. We'll see how it looks as it grows in more. Hopefully the oak leaf creeping fig will spread a bit. Added some sprigs of moss here and there, and yeah. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.